The Speaker of Parliament says opposition workers' parties' attempts to politicise the Committee of Privileges recommendations on the party's two leaders even before it has been debated are regrettable. Responding to a statement by the Workers' Party, Mr Tan Chuan Jin said it suggests that the COP's recommendations are related to the political work of Pritam Singh and Faisal Mana. He's emphasised that findings are based on objective evidence and Parliament has the power to proceed to impose sanctions on the two WP leaders. But instead of doing so, referring the matter to the public prosecutor allows them to defend themselves in a court of law and they will have the best chance to vindicate themselves if innocent. Mr Tan says this is how democracy should work with a system that respects the institutions of such and upholds Singapore's laws, including those against perjury and prevarication. He adds that it will be a perversion of democracy for an MP to lie on oath and for the member to then say that such lies should not be dealt with or that he is above the law because of who he is. Earlier in the day, Singapore's Opposition Workers' Party said it notes with grave concern that two of its leaders could face criminal charges. It says the last time these were brought against an elected opposition MP relating to political work was in the 1980s. A parliamentary committee had recommended that opposition leader Pritam Singh and party vice chair Faisal Manap be referred to prosecutors because of their testimonies during a probe into the Raisa Khan scandal saga rather, Lili Ying with more. It's very much calm before the storm here outside the Workers' Party headquarters, which appears closed. My knocks on the doors went unanswered as I tried to get more information about what WP said in a statement earlier today. It had said that the party's top leaders will speak about the findings by the Committee of Privileges. The committee had found that the three senior WP leaders had lied under oath about how they handled former MP Raiza Khan's lie about a sex assault investigation. It concluded that they had advised her to cover up the truth. It singled out WP Chief Pritam Singh for telling Ms Khan to take her lie, quote, to the grave, unquote. While the Workers' Party is expected to strongly contest those assertions in Parliament next week, even as it emphasised that the House, like the Privileges Committee, is dominated by MPs from the ruling People's Action Party. Now, beyond the House, there is also another matter of great implication. Possible criminal liabilities that Mr Singh and WP Vice Chair Faisal Manap might face. Mr Singh, in fact, has raised the prospect of both leaders losing their parliamentary seats if they are fined $2,000 or more. All this is contingent on whether prosecutors even take up the case. For now, the WP says Mr Singh and Mr Faisal will cooperate with prosecutors and defend themselves in court if they are charged. The party says it will also continue its work to serve Singapore and Singaporeans.